Welcome to Just Explained by Master number 15. In today's video I'm gonna play a Blitz game, I'm gonna walk you through my thoughts, let's go. So I'm playing Elite Chess as usual, I'm gonna play 3 minutes plus 2 seconds each side. And let's see if we find someone. My rating is currently 24-29. I've been... I'm actually in a winning streak. Let's see if we can keep that alive. And I don't know what to say in the meantime. Still waiting, there we go. We found a game, we're playing against an IM. ICH2. So we're playing with the white piece. We're gonna open up with pawn to e4. Hopefully everything's fine. There we go. And our opponent plays c5, also known as the Sicilian. Now we still don't know which Sicilian our opponent. Oh, there we go. Accelerated to dragon. So many many types of Sicilians. Most of the time, d6 is still not revealing which specific Sicilian it's going to be. Um, knight f6 is another line. E6 is another line. A6 is another line. And g6 is the accelerated dragon. So here. I could play c4. I could play. I mean, there's a other pseudo or 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 sidelines, I should say, like bishop c4. But I think I'm gonna go for c4. Going for this Maroxy bind is what we call the Maroxy bind, and they're pretty efficient to stop d5. So d5 cannot be achieved. These two pawns do a very good job at stopping that, even if Black prepares it, because I'm probably gonna have a knight on c3, and. Um, and I will occupy the center. In fact, I already did this with c4. You're going to say, David, this is not in the center. This is on c4, the explosive square. But it is attacking d5. Therefore, it is part of the center. Now I'm going to play d4, which is occupying the center more directly than c4. And um, if takes, I take back and I'm happy. Queen e5 played very weird move. Normally, you don't want to take your queen out so early in the opening. I could play bishop d2, bishop c3, which looks tempting. I could also play knight c3, which looks absolutely fine. I think I'll go for the for the former. David, what does that mean? What does former mean? I don't know. I'm just trying to be just trying to be cool. No, I'm joking. A former means the first one I mentioned. Knight f6, let's stick to the chess. Knight f6 attacking e4. The reason why I did this little dance with the bishop is that I think now this bishop could potentially fight against this g7 bishop, which is very like pretty much the proudest black piece or the proudest minor piece black has so if i can start competing against that guy and um, that's great i could play e5 if pawn takes i take with the with the bishop and then queen a5 bishop c3 back and e5 knight g4 h3 c takes bishop takes i'm also pretty happy so i do not understand this i could play d5 knight takes e4 is not possible because of bishop g7 there's so many options hmm you could play e5. I think e5 out of them is probably the most attractive. d5 is also very tempting. But I'm expecting that after d5, d6, something like h3 to prevent this castles, bishop d3. I like that position. I like that. But like, what about e5? e5, if takes, once again I take back. And I'm pretty happy. And if knight g4, I play h3. And once again, I'm pretty happy. Hmm decisions i'm gonna go for e5 i really don't think oh my goodness oh my goodness what a horrible blunder you're gonna say david why are you so upset it's just 94 it's just the move the knight is moving to an empty square why would why would you be so angry about that well this is clearly the most active response black has and i have no idea why i missed it it's a very bad sign it's scary so i will have to go something like queen c2 or bishop d3 Hmm. I'm gonna go with queen c2. Knight takes c3. I'm gonna take back. I'm gonna sacrifice the pawn. I'm gonna play knight d5. Hope I have enough compensation. Could take back with the pawn to kind of keep this 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 structure, but I think it should should be better to to try to activate my pieces. I do sacrifice the pawn. If queen a5, I have b4. And um, yeah, I'm just going to act like everything's fine. Queen c6. I don't think that's the best move because after you can't castle knight takes c7 is always going to be a problem. Queen e6, knight c7. And in this position, I guess I will go something like queen e4. I, I want to take back on d4 somehow. I'll tell you what. Hmm. Knight c6 is coming, whatever happens, pretty much. I want to support e5. I'm pretty much going to accept that e5, sorry, that d4 might not be taken. But again, something like knight c6, maybe I can play queen e4. I played h4 because. Black is not developed. 
So maybe I can go h5, h6 pretty quickly. If I get h5, it's going to be pretty annoying for black. In fact, knight c6 is h5 a move. I don't think so. But I could try. I have 9 seconds. Okay, I'll, I'll give it a shot. I think it's it's already a tough position for white. So why why not um why not sacrifice material? If knight takes e5, I could play h6. Sure, I could play h6 now. It's this I can take. Against that, I can play queen e4. And I'm hoping to complicate matters. I'm hoping this pawn on h6 is going to be an annoying guy. Queen a5 is kind of very annoying. I have to play king d1. The only hope is some sort of knight h5 if black castles. Let's play king d1. Let's see if I can survive this. I don't promise anything. Queen takes d4 is kind of starting to, to get some material back. Only one pawn. Black doesn't allow me. I'm going to play bishop d3 now. Maybe knight takes g6. Dreaming of knight takes g6. I don't think it's going to happen. Keeping myself, keeping myself as, as aware as possible. Bishop d7 seems logical. I don't think black wants to castle a short side, but maybe it's, maybe it's fine. Maybe it's, it's achievable or, or, or not as bad as, as it looks. Castles, rook h5 comes to mind, but after f5 it doesn't really work. H, knight h5, sorry, might, might, might work out better. I want to play a3, king c2. I'm trying to solidify my position, but with, with a king on d1 that cannot castle anymore, it's pretty unachievable. Play knight d5. Castle short side is something that I calculated some time ago. I'm planning to play b4. And uh, actually it doesn't work because of e takes d5. Which I missed. So I'm going to have to improvise with knight f6. Okay. I'm going to play b4 because... One thing that I keep doing over and over in this Chess Explained by Master videos is getting losing positions, complicating as much as I can, and um, I'm being, being, being slightly, uh, sorry, rook h3. My goodness, I don't know what's going on. I'm going to take on d3. Okay, bishop c2. Attacking the queen again. I kind of expected that. Now I can maybe. That's just, that's, it. that's is that a good move? Maybe it's not a good move. Oh, there goes that guy. Bishop takes a four. But was possible. Oh, that was a blunder. Okay. Rook e three. Bishop b three. E four. Go bishop b three. I don't know. I re I really don't. I'm not hundred percent sure what's going on. Let's try to. Let's try to trade pawns. Normally when you're not sure about, about what's going on, you, you should trade pawns. Great advice. Play f4. Trying to get a rook d3 check. Okay. Let's play this. e7, yeah. Bishop d5 maybe, or rook c3. Let's play rook c3. Okay. Getting rook c7 would be a very big achievement. This, this pawn on h6 is kind of, kind of a, a problem. King d6, check. Eh, I'm, I'm making my, my opponent's life a little bit impossible. Bishop d1 is an idea. I could give a check here. King c7, I give a check. King b6, I don't believe that. This. We win on time. Wow. Okay. So, let's summarize. We played this line. Um, we blundered around here. I think it was safer to play either d5. Even bishop d3. It was really embarrassing to just blunder this away, but I guess it's genuine and transparent, as, which is what I'm trying to aim with this YouTube channel. I go for this activity, but it doesn't work. After knight c6, I'm just worse. I have to play queen e4, or maybe I should have played queen e4 instead of the outrageous h4, but once again, I mean, I have, I'm, I'm running out of time. I think it's safe to say that... Um, that complicating matters has worked before. And um, in this position, I'm just absolutely lost. I'm down two pawns. I cannot castle. My pieces are not active. The only piece I'm happy about is my queen, which is centered. But uh, and maybe my knight. But other than that, I'm pretty much busted. 
Uh, I go for this kind of complicated stuff, but after long side castles, now it's even clear, more clear than that black is fine. I play knight f6, knight e5, b4 once again. Maybe I'm dreaming of one day queen takes b4 and some rook b1, queen takes b7, mate. Black goes for this. I don't know, this was pretty weird. I think, yeah. Uh, I could I could play queen takes d4, which is my it was my, my initial reaction. But then I thought, what's more important than material? And I thought, well, activity. So rook h3, my opponent sacrificed the pawn anyway. Got that, I play bishop c2, rook c1, important. I think this was one of the most important. I, could, I almost blundered with rook b1, but after queen takes b1, I cannot take back because of the pin. So rook c1, only move. And um, here I think I should have taken... Ah, no, wait, sorry. C takes d5 opens up the c file sorry about that and only now i can take and it's check maybe i should have done something else maybe i should have done something like queen f4 or maybe this is this is the right way this is this is pretty much transforming into a worse end game but um yeah i mean i'm also thinking about crazy things like queen e5 but after queen takes e5 bishop takes a4 king b8 i don't have any any brilliant sequence of moves that wins me the game so Maybe queen f4 was was uh, more logical, or maybe queen. It's difficult. Queen queen h4 maybe to try to invade. But okay, this happened. Uh, I'm in a worse end game. I'm down a pawn, and the knight is very strong. I think in this position, probably knight d3 is winning. But my opponent didn't find it, and uh, we're both in time trouble. I go for this rook c3, bishop a4. This is now a threat. So if knight takes h6, actually I could go rook c7 or rook h h3. Both of them look pretty good. And after this, my opponent just flagged. So I guess that my opponent didn't want to go to b8. That's pretty. That's pretty bad. And after bishop d1, um, knight takes h6 is not really worrying me. And knight f2, bishop, bishop c2. The keep the games keep the game keeps going. Sorry. And this pawn on h6, believe it or not, might might save me at some point. So for instance, if the rooks get traded and my bishop is on b3, bishop g8 would be getting go gobbling all these pawns, and I would be the happiest man alive. Thank you very much for watching, let me know what you thought, and have a nice day.